Welcome to the WECS Daily News. For the third year, the mayor and the Attleboro Council on Human Rights held a gay pride flag raising ceremony at City Hall. June is LGBTQ Pride Month and organizer Lori Sawyer says that this event is a way for the city to show that it supports and welcomes all people. I'm the chair of the Council of the Human Rights Council here in Attleboro and today we had uh, the pride flag raising. The mayor and many other officials in the city and state came and spoke in support of the LGBTQ community. Events like this are very important because it shows that the city um, supports everybody, welcomes everybody, and wants everyone to be a part of the city, be a part of the community, and not be afraid to be their real selves and to love who they love. The turnout was amazing. We had many different ways that we announced it this year um, on Facebook. We um, did a press release to many different media outlets, and we had chairs, so that was good. People had asked for that last year, so we were able to bring some chairs in, and a lot of people filled them, and it was great. A lot of different people, too whether they were families, people who were allies, they were other LGBT people, families of those people. There was lots of people here that um, came to see the raising and the people speaking. As we raise this flag today, we shut out ignorance. But more importantly, we welcome love in all of its beautiful capacities. Love for other people, but especially love for ourselves. When we are surrounded by acceptance and safety, it opens up a new gateway for opportunities. It allows new successes, new friendships, and a stronger community as a whole. I'm a firm believer that ignorance is the root of acrimony. If you don't know what that means, that's okay. I'll explain it. This means that the people who are unwilling to learn or are just simply uneducated oftentimes are the ones with the ill taste in their mouths. That being said, I believe that if we keep striving for acceptance and having annual events like these or, for example, even pushing for better support in the workplace or in schools, then one day we, will, we won't see any coming out and there won't be any derogatory terms. You know, I really did not want to get this political when I say this, but I know my last statement sounds pretty rash seeing today's climate. But on the other hand, I don't think I've seen so many outward acts of pride and self-love within our community since I was born, which was in 2001. And I don't know if everyone agrees, but that's just my take. However, you know, this resolve may take a while, but the key here is to never give up. I don't care what that big man says while he sits in his big boy chair, I'm gonna live for myself. You know, I just graduated high school yesterday and it's crazy, you know, I'm feeling a little sentimental. But, you know, I, I think back in last year when I came to the flag raising, I had no idea what I wanted to do after I left high school. Now I got into one of my top schools, I have a major and I'm obviously committed. Uh, but, you know, it got me thinking, in 10 years, I want to come back to this very spot and I want to see and hear even more. I want to see the LGBT youth then and I want to see what they have to say. I hope to see them talking about improvement upon this day and hope. And we cannot do this unless we have events like these. Every single one of you is special and unique in your own ways and we all have the power for change. We all do. And I believe in us. You just have to believe in yourselves too. Thank you. Resources off the top of my head would be to go to the um, Human Rights Campaign um, website. Um, it's a national group that is an advocate for LGBTQ people and uh, that's off the top of my head. If you wanted to look um, in citywide, there's the Council for Human Rights is on the Attleboro City website. You can always go there and look. You can. Um, also come to any of our meetings, they're open to the public. If you have any questions, if you, um, you know, or, and there's, there's one in 10 of us that are LGBTQ, so I'm sure that you can meet somebody and ask them questions. I'm just so happy that this um, was a, a great event and that um, so many people came and that are accepting and welcoming to um, LGBTQ people. That's it for today's update. You can watch all of our content by visiting our website at WECS.com, by downloading the WECS mobile app, and if you have a Roku, you can search for the WECS Roku channel. For WECS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.